In this video, we are going to explain the concept of sampling distribution. Sampling distribution is an extension of uh, probability distribution, which uh, covered in the last video. Uh, for assuming the concept of uh, sampling distribution, uh, we are taking one population here. Suppose we have a population and that population is comprised of these elements. These are the elements in my population. We are interested into a parameter which is the characteristic of population. Suppose we are interested in the mean of the population. This We are interested in this parameter. The one way to complete and to find the value of this parameter is to conduct a census and then get all observations through the census and compute the mean of this parameter. Then compute the population mean. Another way is draw a random sample. Suppose I have selected a random sample of size uh, n from this population and I have computed the mean of sample, which is a statistic. So X bar is what? X bar is the mean of this statistics. We can estimate the value of population parameter by this mean. So this is called inferential statistics. If I have selected the another sample, then the value of statistics will be changed. We have another statistics and that another statistics is I am representing the first statistics by x1 bar. I am representing the second statistics by x2 bar. We can compute, we can estimate the population parameter by second sample. And in the same way, if I am selecting all possible samples from this population, and suppose this is the mean of the last sample I have chosen, I am representing this by M. And we are estimating the population mean by uh, this, pop this sample mean. So this, this is the concept of um, inferential statistics. We are interested in parameter, but we are not directly computing the parameter by um, census. We are estimating the parameter by using the different samples. We can use any one of the sample to uh, estimate the population parameter. But right now we are uh, going to describe the distribution of these sample means. So the distribution of these sample means can be demonstrated here and that distribution of sample means is referred to as sampling distribution. We are going to complete this example by a, a very short population. Suppose a population comprised on three numbers, one, two and three we can compute the population mean mu which is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3. This is the mean of population divided by 3. This is 2. Population mean is 2. In reality, we cannot calculate the population mean, but right now in, a, in an example or in a, a scenario, we are considering a very small population and we have computed the mean of the population by just adding all the three numbers divided by three. If I am interested to obtain a sample of size two, suppose I have selected a sample of size uh, Two, suppose one and two are the two values. And I am interested to compute the statistics, the first mean. Suppose the mean of the first sample is two plus one divided by two. One plus two divided by two, it is equal to 1.5. In the same way, there is a possibility that the sample of one and two is not selected and 
and because it is randomly chosen suppose 1 and 3 is selected if 1 and 3 is selected then the mean of the second sample will be what it is represented by x2 bar mean of the second sample this is equal to 1 plus 3 divided by 2 this is equal to 2 if i am computing the all possible sample means and forming a probability table for all of these means then that probability table is known as sampling distribution so i am completing the sampling distribution for this small example here in this presentation now i am constructing one column in column number one i have the sample mean uh, in the column number one i have in column number one i have sample and in column number two i have mean if i am drawing us these samples by uh, with with replacement then the sample first sample will be one and one then one and two and one and three in the same way the remaining sample and the last sample will be three and three these are the n possible these are the all possible samples from this small population Suppose I am interested in the mean of these population, these samples. Then the mean of the first sample will be 1, 2 plus 1 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. This is 2, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, 2, 5 by 2 is 2.5. And this is 2, 5 by 2 is 2.5, and this is 3. These are all possible samples, and these are all possible sample means. Uh, all possible samples can be represented by letter M, and if we are selecting the samples by with replacement, then it will be N raised to the power N. Capital N is the size of population and small n is the size of sample. In this example, I have three elements in my population and a sample of size 2 is selected, then total samples will be 9. So you can see all possible 9 samples here, but uh, this is by with replacement. If we are interested to draw the samples by without replacement, then M will be equal to N combination N, N C N. And if we are interested to compute this, this will be the three combination two, which will be equal to this is equal to 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial and 3 minus 2 factorial. This is equal to 3. Total samples will be 3 if we are selecting by without replacement. We are covering the example by with replacement for the simplicity without replacement. If we are selecting the samples by without replacement, then the total samples will be three. If we are selecting the samples by with replacement, then the total samples will be nine as it is demonstrated here. This is with replacement. And this is the case of without replacement. In, in this example, we are using by with replacement.
अच्छा नाउ इफ वी आर इंटरेस्टेड टू मेक अ ग्राफ ऑफ दिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देन देन कंसीडर द सैंपल मीन ऑन द एक्स एक्सेस एंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी विल बी ऑन द वाई एक्सेस फर्स्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द सैंपल मीन इज वन देन वन पॉइंट फाइव then 2 and the 2.5 then finally we have 3 how many uh one in in our uh table we have well, this is one only the probability of getting 1 is 1 upon 9 so this is 1 upon 9 the probability i am considering here because we have uh one out of these nine this is 2 upon 9 and this is 3 upon 9 this is 3 upon 9 now as we have one one which is the sample mean of one and it is one observations out of these nine so we have one upon nine 1.5 we have 1.5 one time 1.5 two times 1.5 is occurring two times into the table the probability will be 2 upon 9 and how many times we have two it is one it is two and it is three the so two we have two three times the probability of getting two is 3 upon 9 similarly 2.5 two times the probability will be this and 3 will be one time the probability will be this this is known as sampling distribution of mean sampling distribution of sample means we can observe one important characteristic of the sampling distribution of sample mean here in this example we have chosen a very small sample of size 2 but we can see that the sampling distribution of mean is looking as a symmetrical distribution you can see that it is a symmetrical distribution here this is one of the very important characteristic of the sampling distribution and whenever we will cover the characteristics of the sampling distribution this will be our uh, focus